Today I wanted to run through my winter most worn items. I do one of these videos every single season and they're always among one of my favourites to film. I really like to go back and look at what I wore the most. I think it's a great way to keep your closet on track and really understand what your wardrobe heroes are. Um, and it's really interesting looking at the colour palette here and all the items that I wore the most over winter for 2021. Um, I've really noticed a theme and this in itself would be a really great little capsule wardrobe. Uh, I will link everything I talk about down in the description box below as always uh, and again like with my autumn video I am posting this a little bit later. Would love your feedback in the comment section below on whether you prefer me to post straight after the season is over or if you like me waiting a little bit longer. Uh, I thought it would be a bit more timely for those of you in the northern hemisphere who are kind of heading towards winter. Alright so let's start with my most worn knit and winter is knitwear season, it is coat season. I'm all for it except for being cold. Um, so my most worn knit really didn't come as any surprise to me uh, and it was because I just found myself reaching for this so so much. It was the curated cashmere knit and I love this because unlike a lot of my other cashmere knit sweaters, the very classic crew style which have a very fine woven um, design to them, this one the knitting is a little bit looser so you have this lovely sort of fisherman ribbed effect down the front which I think is really nice. It's very very plush, I like the bell sleeves to it, to me that just made it feel a little bit more interesting to wear uh, and it's so soft and so cosy. Um, obviously there is a little bit of pilling on it which is nothing that a fabric shape that it cannot fix very very easily uh, and yeah I mean this has just been an all-round brilliant basic to have in my closet uh, a basic that's not so basic uh, and just for full transparency this one was gifted to me but clearly um, I love it so much and have actually been contemplating uh, whether or not I purchase it in another color uh, just so I have an additional option for next autumn winter. Okay moving on to my most worn t-shirt and this is such a bougie purchase honestly um, and I'm gonna just say straight from the outset you do not need to spend this much money on a t-shirt. Uh, I think go with what's within your budget. I also have a really nice one from Alex Mill which is similar but it's just more of a spandexy sort of a feel. This one has more of a cotton linen feel. Uh, so it is this t-shirt from Saint Laurent. It's black and white striped. I love a Merinier as you probably know. It has this little pocket on the bust here with the YSL logo stitched on. Uh, I found myself reaching for this a lot because I love stripes. I love a black and white stripe because it is high contrast and just makes a basic outfit feel a bit more interesting. The fit on this is really nice too. Uh, I believe I sized up to a medium in this tee because I wanted to have a bit more of a relaxed fit uh, and it doesn't feel too big on the shoulders on me at all which is nice uh, and the quality of the cotton is really really lovely. I've thrown this in the wash loads of times already and the seams haven't twisted which is great considering how much I paid for it. You really want to make sure that you are getting quality when you are spending that much um, but yeah quality comes at every price and I think if you were looking at maybe a more winter friendly version uh, and just to preface this by saying um, some of these items might feel a little bit odd uh, Sydney winters are very very mild. The final day of winter was something like 22 degrees and our winter temperatures tend to vary between sort of maybe 15 or 16 degrees on the low end up to 24 degrees on the high end so uh, that would probably be summer for some people I think. Uh, but yeah on the more affordable end of the spectrum and also one which has long sleeves um, I purchased this one here from COS which has a slightly wider stripe uh, but it's a really nice thick weighty cotton and this would be a great sort of autumn winter basic I think as an alternative to the Saint Laurent one. Next let's talk about my most worn dress and I loved getting to wear this dress this year. Um, I purchased it late in 2020. Because I got it in spring, it was sort of getting a little bit too warm to wear it. But I definitely made a lot of use of it over the autumn winter months uh, and it turned out to be my most worn dress of winter hence being in this video. It is the Felix dress from Marl, which is this very lovely oatmeal coloured um, midi length dress. Comes to about halfway down my shin uh, and it does have this um, sort of, I don't know if you can see here, but on the back the lines run horizontal whereas the uh, ribbing for the rest of the dress is a vertical rib 
but yeah this is just beautiful it is a cashmere silk and cotton mix uh, feels really nice and soft against the skin and it launders incredibly well too um, I think the sizing is spot on it is something that skims over the curves of your body without being uh, too body con uh, if you know what I mean um, I don't really like when items are too tight and I just feel really comfortable when I'm wearing it very very easy to style uh, quite often I would throw a big chunky knit over the top and call it days um, and obviously living in a milder location uh, I found quite often that was fine for me either with a light jacket or with a knit over the top and just a nice pair of pumps okay most worn trousers I don't think these are going to be a surprise to anybody because of how much I wore them I think they featured in every single one of my weekend outfits videos which I shared uh, over the winter season they are these ones here from H&M. Uh, I was actually wearing them today and I had to get changed so that I could uh, show you them in this video. Uh, I have them in a couple of colours. Um, I have the dark grey and then I have the black and then I have, it's a very similar style but it's just got an elasticated section at the back. I have those ones in sort of a reddish taupe colour. Um, but these trousers are brilliant. I love the pleating down the front, uh, the fact that they are a straight leg, um, they're not tapered which has been an interesting or different silhouette for me to add into my closet this year and I've really been leaning into trying slightly new things. Uh, it's you know same same but different is I suppose been the direction I've been going in and I like it. <laughs> yeah the quality of them has just far exceeded my expectations. They wash really well um, and I, I mean I say this often but you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good quality item it's all about being very selective you can get some great pieces on the high street uh, and then mix them in with some of your other items which might be a little bit more expensive uh, so yeah this has definitely been one of my uh, better affordable buys for sure and something I plan on continuing to wear for the next few years at least <laughs> then we have my most worn jeans and again I don't know if these will come as any surprise because I wore them a lot um, you probably will have seen them loads on my Instagram which I pop a little picture here and uh, you can go and follow me down in the links below if you aren't already uh, they are my 90s cheeky straight jeans from Italy uh, these ones, uh, so they're the 90s style, which means they're 100% cotton, and they have the button fly. If you get the regular cheeky straight, which has a little bit of elastane to it, those ones have a zip and button fly. Um, I actually like the button fly. It feels a little bit more vintage, uh, and it is concealed as well. Um, I absolutely adore these jeans. I have them in multiple colors because the fit of them is just so good. Uh, I am, I would say I'm a 26 in the cheeky, the original, and then I'm a 25 in the uh, 90s style. I go for the ankle length just because I have a slightly shorter inseam for my height. Uh, these have gone in the wash countless times because they're a white denim and as I'm sure you can appreciate with a toddler, they get dirty very, very quickly uh, and they always come out looking great I mean you can see how bright they look they've just recently been washed um but yeah they're brilliant I don't know what else to say other than that uh the quality of them has just held up so well and um I just love how they look I always feel really really comfortable and confident in them and uh, my next most worn item is another Evelyn piece and I can't recall I think maybe this was in my autumn most worn too uh, it's the oversized wool blazer um again this is just such a great little classic staple. Um, I think if you're after a black oversized wool blazer, this is nice because it is tailored and just slightly uh, relaxed fitting. It doesn't feel too big. Um, I think if you want something that is a bit roomier through the body, I would recommend Arquette. I love their oversized blazers. I have one in navy and it is brilliant. Um, but yeah, if you want something that is maybe a little bit more tailored but just has that ease through the body, this is a great option. Quality of it is beautiful and it is also fully lined. Um, I went with my uh, usual size. I got a US 4 and it is a really great fit. So I know previously I've said to size down one but I actually think that you are fine sticking with your usual size. My opinion on that has definitely changed uh, over the years. Uh, okay so we'll talk through coats and then I'll run through a couple of accessories. So um, I actually have two jackets to share because uh, I think there was one wear between them and they're both different kinds of jackets. So I thought it would be useful to just share them both <laughs> um, so we'll talk about the lighter weight option which is probably more suitable for most climates during the transitional season or this would be a great winter option if you live in California I suppose um, it is the trench coat 
This one's from Max Mara and it's called the Dimper Trench Coat. And I actually have mine in a size larger than what I would usually take just because uh, they didn't have my size available. And I'm okay with that because I'm liking those more oversized silhouettes so it's totally fine by me. But I would say it does definitely fit true to size. Uh, you might even like to size down if you are petite and you've been eyeing up this jacket. Uh, but yeah, the color of it was what drew me in. Um, I really love the rich sort of fawn brown taupey color. Uh, I didn't have anything else like it in terms of the jackets I had in my closet. Um, and I love the fit. I just think it's so interesting. Um, at the back it actually has these little um, metal D rings which help to stop the belt slipping through the belt loops which has always been a common issue for me with a lot of coats. Um, usually I will knot them at the back and I've done that here just for an added layer of security. Um, but yeah I mean I don't want to say, oh, it is water resistant. I have worn it out in the rain and the droplets just sort of fall off. You just need to brush them off. Otherwise, uh, eventually they will sort of start to soak in a little bit to the fabric. So it's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So great if you get caught in a bit of a downpour. Then the other coat, oh, this one's actually a coat that I wore loads over winter is the curated boyfriend coat, which I have in charcoal. I adore this thing. Again, this one was gifted to me uh, and it's, it's just become one of my favorite coats to wear. Um, I think it's probably outpaced my Evelyn Rewool coat just because it is a bit more relaxed and I was wearing a lot of really bulky sweaters over winter. I found this fit a lot better over those than the Evelyn coat did, though that is a brilliant classic coat if you're after something in a very timeless design. Um, but this I have in a size small. Um, I have mentioned this before, but my only bugbear with curated coats is that they don't have belt loops, so it can be a little bit of a faff because you need to carry around the belt if you're wearing it open uh, and you want to switch between wearing it open and belted. So that's my only minor frustration with this, but otherwise, I mean, I think it is just perfect. Um, a really, really beautiful Scandinavian feeling jacket. It's really nice and warm. It's a double faced wool cashmere blend and feels very soft not itchy at all. Um, I think if you are petite, if you're quite short, I would actually just recommend sticking with the classic style because um, I think that will give you a very similar look whereas this one might feel a bit more overwhelming on your frame because there is more fabric. Um, that's just my personal opinion and I have done a review on the curated coats which I'm going to link up in the cards if you want to go and check that out and see how all of the styles I own fit on me. But yeah. A great little one to have and it does come in a few different color options too. Then finally I want to run through accessories and I thought we'd start with my most worn bag which was the Polen number no. 8 bag or the numero hui. Sorry please mind my French. Uh, it's been many years since I did French lessons. Um, I adore this bag for so many reasons. Um, I love the shape of it, the fact that it's basically like a flower from the base if you look at it uh, and the cylindrical sort of shape, the, the way that it just adds so much visual interest. For me it has just made it something that I've really really wanted to wear when I have headed out of the house and gone for a walk. Uh, keeping in mind that for most of winter we were in lockdown here in Sydney so um, I usually would just take this with all my essentials in it uh, because it does have both the top handle and then it has the shoulder strap too which makes it very very comfortable to wear uh, on your side. The quality of the leather is exceptional. It is a really nice pebbled grained leather which means that it's really going to stand up if it gets any scratches or anything so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, my son has definitely tried to scratch it with his nails a few times because he loves handbags. Uh, it's really really cute uh, but I do have to keep some of my more expensive ones hidden away. <laughs> so yes yeah, it's, it's a beautiful handbag. Probably the only thing I would say that that might be a bit of a pain for a lot of people is the fact that it's just one big open hole. Uh, it's one large pocket, there's nothing inside, there's no sort of zip up pouch or anything attached to it so it sometimes can be a little bit challenging to find what you need uh, but yeah quality is great as per all pollen bags that I have owned and yeah can't really say anything bad. Um, oh and again before I forget this was also one that was gifted to me but I would 100% go out and spend my own money on it. I uh, also really like the mini size too which is the larger of the two and I would say it's a good everyday bag size. And finally we have my most worn shoes. Um, I haven't given them a tidy up so please mind how they look inside but my most worn shoes of winter were my about Ariane ballerina pumps. These are called the Mina 
pumps, I believe from memory, and they have a really nice low block heel, they have a squared off toe, and then that very classic bow across the foot, uh, which I think you see a lot with ballerina pumps. Uh, these are so unbelievably comfortable, the leather is really really soft uh, and malleable, so they really just conform to the shape of your foot, uh, and that makes them very very comfortable to wear. They also fit true to size. Uh, they come in a few different colors actually and I've been toying with the idea of maybe purchasing them in a different one um, I find when I have a basic that I really love and I find myself wearing it loads that generally when I do buy it in another color I also end up wearing that a lot too, so We'll see it's definitely on my maybe list um, But I think you probably know I've got a lot of shoes So I don't necessarily need any more But I really really love these and I have been very impressed with the quality of about Ariane shoes so those are the items that I wore the most over winter. I hope that you enjoyed this video and would love to know if there were any surprises. Um, for me, kind of taking a look over at everything, uh, it actually makes so much sense because I really did find myself gravitating towards these key pieces a lot over winter. And uh, I always like having, I suppose, those core staples that I continue to go back to and that really ground a lot of my outfits. But yeah, that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me. And I I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.